One of the more difficult scenes to cut out of the movie was this giant musical number we had done. And the musical number was Donald Rumsfeld teaching young Dick Cheney how the power game works, how you climb the ladder. Uh, what about uh, that table? No, 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 no. He just got caught screwing his intern, and his intern's name is Zach. See, Cheney, the thing you have to realize about D.C. is that every lunch, every memo, every handshake can be a win or a loss. Right. You have to look at the sound like a, a big chessboard. Nick Patel is truly one of the most incredible musicians I've ever met. Has a feel for music and an understanding of score that I, I've just never seen before. The song itself, we wanted it to have this feeling of like a 70s soul rock feel with a big beat. We had some of the best people you could ever imagine. We had Brittany Howard from the Alabama Shakes. My role is to play a congresswoman who's sitting and having lunch and suddenly it will become very fantastical and I'll start explaining in the cafeteria through singing how the power actually works in the White House. She becomes the sort of Pied Piper character in the song. She's sort of the spirit of power and the spirit of drive and intellect in this climate. And I don't think there's a better vocalist out there right now than Brittany Howard. She just nails it. It's not dubbed in any way. It's her singing live with all this amazing choreography from Andy Blankenbuehler. Andy Blankenbuehler's choreography is incredible. He's a choreographer from Hamilton and a million other great musicals. It's a dance of power and it's also a dance to say, you know what, other people are thinking the same things that you're thinking, you just might not know it. So there's 25 dancers, like 150 extras, and it's exciting for the dancers also because dancers don't always get to carry the responsibility of storytelling, and Adam has given us that gift. What a perfect union to have the live music, the live singing, and to have this live dancing. To me, it feels like I belong here. We tried for like four or five months to get it to work. Unfortunately, we had to cut it, but I still think as a standalone piece, it holds its own weight. So you wanna climb that ladder Where power served upon a platter he only yes and never no, and I always have to find a say so. And every move, no matter how big or how small, can determine who wins the game. Right, and um, what uh, what game are we talking about? You wanna win? Commit the first sin, never tame. God forbid, you get to do before you get there. He's going down. So is he. That guy over there's a real prick, but in a good way. How can someone be a prick in a good way? Scram. So the press to uh, damage enemies or push your agenda, then you get mad about the leak and you use it as an excuse to keep people out of meetings. So you control messaging and you control access. Who's brilliant? Do the reach down. That's when you reach down into the bureaucracy and get low-level staff to tweak memos and reports and match what you want. And they're too intimidated by the higher up to protest? Exactly. That's it. I think I know this one. No matter how small or big the job, get your people in there. It expands your influence and network. Not bad. That way you know every skeleton that's in every closet in town. It's what you crave, it's what you crave Feel the juice on a constant high Eat the whole pie, never gonna die It's a game, all this time, it's an artist, not a crime You a player or a fool, pick a side, win the fool You wanna win, commit the first sin Never tame, God forbid Gotta do it before you get dead You want the goal, you wanna make things Both never get both cold, always get the goal Chicken cacciatore is dry. Give me some of your meatloaf. I was kind of looking forward to that, Don. <laughs> <laughs>